storage syndicate that we're going to be networking and learning all about self-storage so my goal here is to create relationships with other people who want to get involved um, and, and really just add value to the group we're gonna sidebar with a bunch of people and you know hopefully we get a lot of good questions asked and uh, from different people so we can add value to their lives and we're gonna sidebar with a couple other good influencers in the room a lot of people that we do business with and our business our partners are here right so they're either speaking on stage or they're just attending so a lot of uh, a lot of great relationships in this room already from from us one thing you'll see here the common denominator is relationships yep. right because this is a relationship business real estate is that way uh, you know, realistically, all business is that way. Um, your network is your net worth, and, and you can only get so deep when you're, um, you know, you, when you're doing zooms and whatnot. You know, the conversations that are had over a beer, or over coffee, or you know, in between, in between presentations and talking about the key takeaways. There's really when you get deep and and really get to know people and really, uh, you know, strengthen the relationship. And yeah, so that's uh, that's the I think common denominator here. So another reason why we're here. Mr. Joe, The concept here is you don't have to be the brightest, you don't have to be the smartest, you don't have to have the background, you don't have to have the skill set, you don't have to have the knowledge, you just have to have the willpower to take decisive action. It did. Uh, um, two questions. So I, I heard you mention the social media approach. Um, do you have maybe I said like top two channels that have the highest yielding conversions for? Um, place in capital and the second question is have you done any deals or had any experience working with self-directed IRAs or like custodians? Yeah um, So a couple answers to those two questions Facebook and Instagram drive all my traffic. I Thought LinkedIn would be better. It's not Facebook is the number one because my target demographic is there All right, so the ideal for us is Baby boomer, three to 10 million net worth, liquid, um, looking for to replace their income. A lot of times, a lot of business owners. Um, so those are the two channels. I'll add to that, consistency is what makes that work. And that's across the board. I don't care if you're knocking on doors or you're using social media or whatever you're doing, networking. It's a contact sport. You have to consistently tell the same message. So, Danny, you said uh, your profile or like the stereotype is baby boomer, you know, three to ten million net worth, replacing income. So, how important is paying the prep out, say, monthly? Uh, how important is that to the equation to get them to the end zone, or can you withhold of that uh, prep and if, like to pay it out in a balloon? So, for us, we tested it every which way. The prep up front paid monthly, and switching the tax coding of that was a game changer, right? People want consistent income, right? The faster they can realize a return, the more legitimate it makes you that much quicker, yeah, right? So really all we're doing, I mean, it's new development, right? There's no income, right? It's baked into the pro forma, it's pre-raised, they understand that, we disclose it. Um, but it's tax-free income coming back to them and it's efficient because we're refinancing their investment back out, right? That's the model anyways, so. They're essentially getting tax-free returns, start to finish, and then keeping their equity ownership. That's what makes it unique. Right? So when you're competing against even another real estate project, most don't do that structure. Right. Okay, that makes sense. Thanks. Yeah. That was a lot of good information there, eh? Like all of those, the Q and A with uh, with Barry and and uh, Wayne and and, uh, and Brian, and then like all that information with Dana. I need that's what I need. I need to get better at raising the capital. That was friggin' gold. Yeah, good good morning for sure.
My wife's a real estate appraiser. Uh, it was a Friday afternoon. We were driving to an appraisal site, and she did an appraisal for a dude that uh, uh, he was a full-time real estate investor. And uh, she's like, "Really, full-time real estate investor? What's that?" He's like, "Yeah, I've got you know 87 doors." And she came back in the car and told me this. I'm like, "Holy shit!" I did the math, like how much mortgage paid on equity and appreciation this dude's making. I'm like, "Dude, this making this guy's making a million bucks a month or a year." Sorry, I'm like, "If he can do it, I can do it, right?" And I literally that's what we did. We read a book and bought a house. That's a shorter version. I've heard the longer version. Brady kept that really short. It was impressive. All right, that was day one of the storage syndicate. Um, yeah, it was amazing. There's a lot of great takeaways for me. The, some of the biggest ones uh, were all relative to raising capital. And uh, of course, this is one of my pain points just at the moment. So yeah, it was lots of takeaways as to, you know, you know, a lot of us are pitching the deal where, you know, in fact, what we should be doing is listening to, you know, the investor. What are their problems? What, what, can, what problem can we solve with theirs, right? What is their goals and expectations? What are their challenges that they've had in the past? And really get them to talk and then be able to relate how our investments will solve their problems, right? Um, so yeah, lots of, lots of great takeaways from that. The questions in this group were amazing, right? And so what I take from that is that we're in the right room. When you can get a room of people, sophisticated people that are asking intelligent questions, right? That, and you can tell that they're actually needing the answer to this question to solve their problem so they can actually progress forward. You know that you're in the right room. Yeah, I think, you know, those were the few big nuggets that I took away out of, out of today. So unfortunately, I'm not gonna be able to uh, be here tomorrow. We are hopping on an airplane to head to Boston to uh, prepare for another Hilius Half Marathon on Earth with Jesse Itzler. Um, but again, you know, we popped in here just for a quick day, just to, again, you gotta, you gotta plant the seeds, you gotta create new relationships in, you know, in uh, depth in the relationships that we already have, um, because essentially, you know, this is a relationship business. I mean, most businesses are, so just keep, keep that in mind. Your network is your net worth. All right, let's go. true testimonial about how you got here like it's been so cool to watch you grow yeah. but like then stand in front of them telling your story like through the audience just resonated like crazy with it today. appreciate that brother okay yeah. let's talk about why are we here South storage syndicate. storage syndicate summit right so this is our mastermind biannual meeting first annual actual live meeting awesome group today right i mean you know what's crazy about it? I think half the room is Canadians. It's true. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's not. Lots of Canadians. Yeah, this uh, is an international mastermind on yes, self storage. Totally. Yeah, self storage development in the U.S. How to get involved? How to get invested? How to become some part equity owner in 20, 25 million dollar self, self uh, 25 million dollar self storage deals. Right, trying to create that opportunity where whether you're an investor, whether you're a developer, whether you're a bird dog, you know, trying to figure out a way to get your piece of the pie. Yeah, and that's one of the biggest things that I've learned from you and your team and actually in coming to the US and just um, surrounding myself with like like elite entrepreneurs is that not one of you guys are doing this for yourself. No. So like just give me your opinion on the value of a team and, and um, you know and like how you actually take down big deals. Like, yeah, I mean dude, it's a team sport, right? So with every deal we're syndicating so we need private lenders. We need we need to, to create relationships with those folks to continue to reinvest with us. Uh, we need banking relationships. We need general contracting relationships. We need design relationships. So, like I tell people all the time, like I would never be able to build a self storage facility by myself. Hire the right people, put them in the right places, and let their passion do the work. Yeah, yeah, hundred percent. So, um, coaching. Let's just talk about coaching. I know yeah. you're my coach. Yep. Do you have coaches? Many coaches. Why? Always between four and six. Right. Because listen, that's how we get better about whatever it is. I don't care if it's diet, jujitsu, business, life, investments, you know, finding someone to help push you along and hold you accountable. I call it co-creation, right? That's how we collapse time. That's how we turn decades into days. Like, you know, I don't want to spend 10 years learning a thing when someone else already spent 10 years learning that thing. So I'm going to latch onto them. I'm going to give them equity. I'm going to pay them their fee. I want to make it work so that it works for both of us. We were just sitting down with Barry and he, I didn't realize he's doing marathons, yeah, marathons yeah, yeah. triathlons. And it, it's, 
you know, for people watching this, like, if you want to be super successful, do what the super successful do. Absolutely. And they are all doing some aspect of some really hard physical activity. Well, they're like, finding a way to get out of their zone, you know what I mean? Like, it's not the normal, it's not the, what everyone else is doing, it's mostly not the 95%, it's not conformist, it's different, it's, it's difficult, it's something that scares you, it's something that's hard for you. Like, I've been watching you do all these things, I'm like, holy shit, like, like, you're not, you're not, I wouldn't say you call yourself a naturally gifted athlete, right? Like, you force yourself to do this hard shit, but the results are, are the byproduct of what it takes when you get on the other side of that thing, right? So I think that, that that's the power in all of it. 100. Okay, family. Let's talk about you've got two two young daughters, two little girls, they're right? Ten and thirteen next month. Yep. Yeah. And how important is it to you? And like, what do you want? What they're watching dad put in these long hours, traveling across the country, coaching people. Yep. Like, what do you think they're getting out of that? Yeah, you know, like Emma just started saying say recently, things that your your kids uh, learn from you, they're they're caught, not taught. And like that was so powerful for me because I think a lot of us as adults or as parents, we're trying to like tell our kids what to do. What happens if you tell your kids what to do? They do the opposite, yeah, right? Yeah. But if you show them repetitively over and over again, I'm getting up early, I'm putting in the work, I'm going to jujitsu, I'm doing the, the you know the Iron Man. Your kids are gonna see that and they're gonna go, man, I want to catch up with dad. I want to be like my dad. And so to me, that's the ultimate is letting them catch those lessons from seeing me do it, the actions I'm doing, not the words I'm telling them. Yeah, 100%. Okay, well, that's just last one. Yep. Just be, obviously, we like to be, to have these big visions and have these big goals, we've got obviously, well, we have wives. Yeah, right? yeah. And they, they, they're along for the ride and part of it, but they're it's part of one team, one vision, yep. one tribe. Yep. Right? And, you know, what does that look like for a couple to yep. go after some big audacious goals? What is that, what does that relationship look like? You know, I think, first of all, you guys have to agree on, like, what level of, you know, discomfort or uncomfort or risk that you want to take and a lot of times one person's going to lead the other person in that direction but I think as long as you're both there to support each other through thick and thin downs ups all that kind of thing like you know as well as I do like I wouldn't be here without my wife right right like like she supports my crazy she supports the good times she supports the shitty times but the whole idea is that we're, we're a cohesive unit and the goal is a bigger outcome yeah right on brother well if you don't know Joe Evangelisti make sure you follow him he's honestly my coach he's changed my life lives and he's helping change many others so brother I appreciate, appreciate that, you man. thanks brother yeah awesome awesome